Anthropic has sparked a wave of innovation with CLI-based agents through Cloud Code, their agentic coder that is redefining how we use AI in the terminal. Cloud Code is an agentic coding tool that lives right in your terminal. It's able to understand your code base and helps you code faster by handling routine tasks. It's quite powerful, which is why many of us rely on it daily to streamline our software development workflows. But what if I told you that you can supercharge Cloud Code, make it 100 times faster, smarter, cheaper, and more extendable? Now, imagine unlocking new features like slash commands or custom personas and so many other things that would elevate your development stack. Well, this is where I would like to introduce SuperCloud, a modular drop-in framework that fills in the gaps of Cloud Code. SuperCloud is a free developer-friendly framework that enhances Cloud Code with structured tools, customizable workflows, and powerful configurations, all seamlessly integrated. Now you may wonder right away, what's the difference between Cloud Code versus SuperCloud? And why would you even want to have SuperCloud? Well, the thing is, there's a lot of configurations that aren't seen within Cloud Code that lack its capability or restrict it to become one of the best agentic AI tools. For example, with SuperCloud, you have specialized commands, which is where SuperCloud introduces 19 specialized commands that are tailored for development tasks that wouldn't be seen within Cloud Code. For example, you can use a command like uh, analyze code for code analysis or improvement or there's a couple of other commands like building, estimating, as well as designing. You also have cognitive personas, which is where there's nine distinct personas that are different sorts of attributes to give to the actual agent, like an architect, a backend, a security, a frontend, and all these different personas are going to be used to personalize and customize Cloud Code's behavior for specific roles. It also enables modular configuration, and this is where SuperCloud provides a config.yam file, and this is for fine-tuned customizations, which includes preferred programming languages that you would want to work with, debugging options, and a couple of other things. But essentially, if you were to just use Cloud Code, they wouldn't have these basic configuration options, but SuperCloud's structured and extendable configuration is something that provides these things to make it more usable and more adaptable and extensive. Now, there's a lot of other things that you can see within their GitHub repo, but for me, the 18 or 19 slash commands are the main selling point, which makes it one of the best tools to actually power Cloud Code with. I'll leave this repo in the description below, but now let's actually take a look at how you can get started. First things first, you need to make sure you have Cloud Code installed. To do so, just simply run the npm command to install this within your terminal. So in this case, I'm gonna open up WSL because on Windows, it's only accessible through Linux subsystem. So let's go ahead and paste in this command to install Cloud Code. And once it has been installed, you can simply open it up with the Cloud command and you can just paste this in and then you can proceed forward. Now, it will request you to actually authenticate first. Now, I've already done this, but you, if you're going to be starting off for the first time, it would ask you if you either have a Cloud uh, subscription or if you want to pay with an API. And you can select between those two options. And once you have selected the one, you're going to be then created with this main Cloud Code dashboard. Afterwards, you need to make sure you have Git installed. If you do not have this, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Once you have Git installed, we're going to be using that to clone this repository. So copy this first command and you want to paste it within your terminal. Once you have cloned the repository, you can then head over into the SuperCloud directory by typing in CD SuperCloud. And then you can paste this in within your terminal to be in that directory. Then you just need to install SuperCloud within that directory. And there is a basic installation command that you can send in, which is the install.sh command. Or you also have the ability to install it within a custom location. You can update it afterwards if they introduce a new update. There's a dry run as well as skipping confirmation. But I recommend just installing it within Claude. So I simply ran this command within my terminal. And you can see it has now installed super cloud successfully so i have now opened up cloud code and what i can do is simply use all of these new commands so if i click slash there's so many new commands now integrated within cloud code for example if i want i can use the analyze command and this is where i can analyze the code base 
and you can see right now that it's able to perform comprehensive code analysis across your overall code base. And you can see that it's able to run these bash commands, these new commands that were integrated all within SuperCloud. And this is the output that we got from SuperCloud's code analysis. It is talking about the code quality, the bug analysis, or whatever it found, the security analysis, and it was able to also make the necessary changes. And in terms of the summary score, it provides us on the status of how healthy our code is. Code quality is seven out of 10. Security is a little weak. And overall, there needs to be improvements made overall for this code base. And this is one of the commands that I was able to input into my code base and get this sort of result thanks to SuperCloud. Now let's try out something new with one of the commands. We're gonna use the slash build command. This is where I'm gonna simply run build slash build react persona front end. And now I'm gonna ask it whatever I wanna build. So I can say, can you please build a CRM dashboard for me that has many features. And if I'm to send in this prompt with the slash build, it's gonna be able to now use the cognitive persona which is the UX front-end builder. Now, what is the difference between these different personas versus something that you can just use within Claude code? Well, essentially the main thing is the behavior control where these are pre-configured personas with specific coding styles and workflows that aren't seen within Claude code. This is more abstract. It goes off of its own way. And in this case, this super cloud method is more refined and it's more consistent with whatever generation you can see there's a updated to-do list that it focuses on and we're going to be working on having it generate all of these components for us also another thing is is that super cloud provides token efficiency where there's different modes that make it super easy to work with and that's essentially one of the main reasons why you would want to use this over just a regular cloud code Plus you have MCP configurations that could be implemented by Context 7 to access updated libraries, Sequential, Magic, as well as Puppeteer. And there we go. Just like that, we have our CRM dashboard fully generated. So if I am to take a look at this, this is where there's functional customer management. All your deals are manageable within this page. Now it looks a little weird right now because I have it minimized, but you can manage all your tasks as well all the different analytics, the calendar. Uh, you also have it so that there is reports that could be generated. And all of this was all accomplished with a single prompt thanks to SuperCloud's new configuration commands. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on SuperCloud. I hope this probably helps you out in supercharging your cloud code, as this is something that's gonna bridge in more speed, flexibility, and personification within your terminal. You have the ability to run all these new commands that will help you out in so many different ways. So let me know if this actually benefits you. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Subscribe to the second channel, follow me on the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.